Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Rashki Compace Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think, $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our Discord server. Again, if you have not signed up for our Discord, then you need to do that as well. It is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading. And again, if you want to support the channel with Patreon, then you can find the link down below in the description. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Rashki Compace Indicator. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 186 indicators. And out of those 186 indicators, 75 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 75 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. So today's indicator is the Rashki Compace indicator. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Not really sure. Uh, my pronunciations sometimes are not the greatest. I will warn you right now. Uh, so if I happen to massacre the name of an indicator, I greatly apologize for that. But I believe that is how it is pronounced. So you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. There's not a whole lot to it. I actually changed it just a little bit. Let me go ahead and put it back to you. It's uh, default. Let's see, reset default. Boom. So that's what it looks like on a default without any modification to it whatsoever. It is a TradingView member created indicator. And so of course you can find a link to it down below in the description. The creator was pretty clear on how it should be traded. When you get a red spike, a red bar, that is a signal to go short. When you get a green spike or a green bar, that is a signal to go long. You can see that the indicator here is very similar to like a histogram, basically a histogram indicator. And it is a zero line indicator as well. Now what I had done is I went in and I changed the uh, green color a little bit there. Go ahead and bump up the opacity of the colors as well. I changed the red a little bit. And then I bumped up the line weight of them as well. And that just helps for the green and the red to really stand out and just kind of pop on the background. I use this white background. I know there are a ton of people out there who use the black backgrounds when they have their charting software up or their indicator, you know, whatever you know, software they use. Uh, I've always... Not always, but over the years, I found that for some reason, I preferred the white background rather than a darker background. Not really sure why I ended up switching. Uh, like I said, I, it's just kind of a preference. I felt like um, kind of psych, psych, uh, psychologically, it, you know, helped me a little bit more, uh, you know, a back, a black background is very uh, you know kind of dark and you know somewhat depressing a light background is kind of you know uplifting and, and happier maybe is why I ended up switching you know I'm I don't think that's exactly why but I think it you know definitely kind of helped lead the way for me changing my background color to being white instead of being black and so because the vast majority of traders have a dark background instead of a light background, you'll find that a lot of indicators are, um, they're kind of colorized or geared towards a darker background. Uh, just by default, they have, you know, some lines will be white and stuff like that. And, you know, they're basically just colors that kind of pop on a darker background than a lighter background. And so sometimes I have to go in and make some of these modifications just to get the color 
of the indicator or specific pieces of the indicator to kind of stand out uh, against the uh, very light background that I use when I do charting and indicator uh, testing. So now, like I said, you can see the indicator down here on the bottom. When we get a red spike, that is a signal to go short. When we get a green spike, that is a signal to go long. Pretty simple setup, not a whole lot to it. So let's go ahead and get on with the testing, see what we can get out of this indicator. I can already tell just by looking at it that we are going to have quite a few signals. So be prepared for that. Now, kind of historically, anytime we have had an indicator that gives us lots and lots of signals they tend to not do very well after it's all said and done but that's not to say that every single indicator that uh, you know is an over trader it's what i kind of call it just a general term for it is over trading where it's just banging out signals like every day every other day it's just way too many signals, way too jerky and, you know, just quick and, you know, a lot of, you know, just constant signal bombardment. And so, uh, you know, it's not to say that an over trading indicator can't be profitable because, you know, I'm sure there is the ability for an over trading indicator to be profitable. But it's just kind of worked out that, again, historically, they have always done pretty poorly. And so, um, you know, if history is any indication, then we can kind of expect the same from most over trading indicators. But really, we don't know until we put it to the test and we kind of see what it is capable of doing. Let's see here. Now, if we are ever able to uh, get an over trading indicator to be profitable, that would be definitely be a very good thing and that's why you know keeping an eye out for an indicator that is an over trader but can do it profitably is really a um, you know good idea to watch out for because if you know, typically what you find is that the indicators that give you kind of the higher win rates, uh, you know, kind of on the reverse side, tend to give you the fewest number of signals. And now, of course, you know, there are those ones who only give us just a couple signals and end up being like 100% winners you know basically just because they don't give us enough signals but what you will find is that most you know reasonable uh, trading system trading algorithms they just don't give that many signals in you know in one year's time or just you know kind of overall they tend to uh, sacrifice quantity for quality, which is definitely a good thing when it comes right down to it. And I've said this on a few of my other videos is that when, um, interesting, I, I don't know what, don't know what just happened to it. Maybe, Maybe these moves just become became a little bit more uh, well-defined, possibly. 
Um, I'm not I'm not really sure, but something just kind of switched on this, where it started giving some really, really decent, yeah, some really decent signals. Strange. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> Not sure exactly what it was. Maybe it was just a fluke where it just kind of lined up, lined up just right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it did, but it was going from just bad trade after bad trade, bad signal after bad signal to really decent signals at really good times. So fascinating. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. So in a few of my videos. I've definitely said that, you know, sacrificing quantity for quality is, you know, a, ultimately a, a profitable idea. If you can find an indicator that gives you fewer signals, but can do it very accurately, then you know, you can definitely be a profitable trader. As long as you have good money management, like we've explained in, you know, multiple videos, especially ones back at the beginning of the channel. If you haven't watched those, go back and do that. So that way you understand the money management side. But when, like I said, when it, when it comes down to it, if you have an indicator that only gives you, you know, five signals in one year's time, but it can do it very efficiently, then, you know, you can definitely be a profitable trader over the long term. I mean, obviously you need to go back and you need to run, you know, a little bit more scrutinized testing, back testing process to make sure that over a long enough period of trades, a long enough, uh, a large enough sample size of trades that it can still maintain its profitability. But if you can do that, even if it doesn't give you signals that often, it's definitely a very valuable uh, indicator. And like I said, you can be profitable with it. But um, one of the things that we are attempting to find is indicators that can be very profitable and give us a good number of signals in one year's time. But if you had to trade one or the other, in let's say that you had to sacrifice um, you know you had to sacrifice trading every single day or even every single week and uh, you know that sacrifice came at being profitable or you could trade every single day every single week but there's a good chance you may not be profitable obviously the you know, obviously being profitable is a little bit more of priority than, you know, trading every single day, every single week, and so on. Let's see. Just tracking along with this, with this indicator here. It is, you know, putting out a lot of signals, but, you know, honestly, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem like a huge number of bad signals. That's a thing. And I am definitely curious to see what this thing will eventually get us to. Blah, 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 bl
All right, so we jumped forward a little bit there. Normally, I don't um, edit and cut out parts of the video. Uh, typically, I just you know test the entire indicator, trying to keep some kind of dialogue, so that way it's not just me sitting here in silence or us sitting here in silence. You just you know watching me silently you know, put these lines on a chart but uh yeah this this indicator is giving so many signals that it is taking a long time for me to run through uh, all these different signals and uh, map them all out and so it would be quite a challenge for me to keep a dialogue throughout this entire time. I doubt that you want to listen to me ramble on for an extended period of time, the amount of time it would take me to get through all the signals that this indicator is giving us. And so, yes, at this point, we are almost to the end of the year. Just keep plugging along here week or two left of signals then we'll be able to add them up and i can honestly say that this indicator has given us the most signals out of any other indicator that we have tested in a one year period of time i will not be surprised at all if the number of signals reaches somewhere into the hundreds no joke at all it's absolutely crazy how many signals the syndicator is giving us i will say that i am surprised at how many how many good signals it seems to be giving us how many you know green wins it seems to be giving us now with that being said it is very likely that what we are experiencing is that this indicator is giving us so many signals. Let's see, almost there. December, January, January, there we go. All right. It is possible that this indicator is giving us so many signals that it really is just a 50-50 crapshoot whether or not price is going to go up or down. And so it's likely that the reason why it is giving us so many winning trades is just that, that is just a flip of a coin. And when you're flipping the coin, I mean, it tends to kind of balance itself out. If every single day I just, you know, flipped a coin and said, okay, it's either gonna go long or it's gonna go short, let's see what happens then you know i don't know maybe maybe it doesn't work quite that way but that's what it seems like to me it seems like most over trading indicators give us just enough signals to be an over trader and really you know tip the scales on the losing side but it seemed like this one giving us signals almost every single day was able to slowly tip the scales kind of on the winning side. Now, I don't know. I Again, I haven't counted them out yet, but let's go ahead and count them out and see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 
81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, one, nope, sorry, 90. <laughs> I swear I know how to count, I promise. <laughs> I do. Uh, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. It's odd. You don't realize when you get to a certain age that you don't count that often i guess uh you know you count maybe you know to 30 or 40 but counting you know to 100 you, you just don't do it that often i guess you know maybe some people do in their their profession possibly but i don't count to 100 that often and so that was uh those those just felt weird counting to 100 right there for some odd reason it seemed like it was a little bit of a challenge. Strange. Okay, so we have 105 signals all together. Let's see how many winning trades we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and 51. So that did not get us to the 60% criteria, but strangely enough, and as I was saying before we started, started counting them, we have 105 signals and we have 51 winning trades. That is almost a 50%. I mean, it's just shy. And so I wonder if, you know, just giving a signal almost every single day if that somehow just kind of balances out to a 50-50, you know, percent win possibility, I, I don't know, strange, oddly enough, it's, you know, very strange. So typically when we get a massive overtrader like this, it loses by a lot. It's not typically this close. And I tell you what, I know there are a lot of people out there who question, you know, uh, whether or not trading on a lower time frame has any kind of validity at all. And I don't know, I'm not saying this for sure, just throwing it out there that this indicator might possibly be useful in getting some kind of idea on a day to day basis on what direction price is going to go for that day so if you were interested in just day trading possibly jumping in and just nabbing you up a quick i mean we have a 60 pip take stop or take profit on this one and so maybe just a quick 20 pips in and out you know 20 pips a day if you could you know if you could grab 20 pips a day you're doing pretty good not too bad at all and so some of the other you know quicker moving uh, pairs you could get even more than that possibly so again i'm not saying for sure just something that i noticed that it it does seem like it does a, a pretty you know reasonable job of giving you an idea of what direction price action is going to go uh the candle that it paints the signal on the very next candle is the one that i would be looking at maybe add in a very quick moving uh, moving average just to kind of confirm uh, filter out some of these really weird areas where it shows a, a long so let's see if i can zoom in here so like this one right here as an example you see that it was pushing down heavily right here and it threw this long signal just bam right in the middle of it kind of out of nowhere 
So if you could filter out a few of those, just snag, like I said, a, a few pips a day, this might be a really decent kind of day trading type setup. So here's an EMA. We know from our EMA, from our moving average head-to-head -head challenge, that EMA was one of the uh, best moving averages that we could use. And so here's an example right here where we have a five period EMA super fast. And you see that price is below it. When it gave this long signal, you ignore it. When it gives this long signal, you ignore it. When it gives this long signal right here, you then go, hmm, all right, we might be on to something there. It's a green candle, green long, so I don't know, something, you know, tinker around with it, play with it. Just something that I noticed, very, very possible uh, type setup for day trading, quite possibly. All right, so there we have it. It's obviously going to go on the no list. Takes the cake for the most signals out of any indicator that we've tested in one year's time. And so, yeah we will put it on the no list and move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out, so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.